My dad's job was sitting in the front of the prow of his vessel in a little tiny shack with all the lights blacked out with a big kind of steering wheel thing in front of him which was attached to a torpedo shaped device on the bottom of the vessel and he would send out sound signals and identify geographic anomalies and whales and if they were lucky U-boats. And uh, he did all kinds of different stuff. He, uh, he had the tail of his ship blown up actually in a convoy going over from uh, Cape Race, Newfoundland and Newfie to Derry, Ireland and uh, it blew up in his headset so he had this whistle in his head for the rest of his years and my brother and I didn't know about this. He didn't find out until he was like quite elderly. I'm like, oh yeah, that's been going on forever. Uh, when the war was over and they were done with him, he shoveled grain for Maple Leaf Mills and Robin Hood Mills. Uh, from the canal bowls on to the Lakers, and the Lakers took it out to Montreal, and from there it went on to the Salties, before they deepened the seaway and the lakes. Uh, he worked for Canada Brick, selling brick. He worked uh, on the Peace Bridge between Fort Erie and Buffalo. He was one of those guys in the hats and the brass buttons of where you're going, where you're born, how long you've been gone, you, know, you have anything to declare. And then he took the Foreign Service entrance exams and he became a career diplomat. Without a high school education, completed and without a university education, and he was one of those guys who knew absolutely everything there was needed to know and all the guys that went past him with their university degrees had to come back and ask him what was going on. Uh, they say, my brother and I had this war for six years. The best thing he ever did was prevent us from killing each other by giving us a Smothers Brothers album. And all of our fights happily turned into these comedy routines at the end of And sadly, he passed of Alzheimer's. He went down over 11 years, and we didn't know for the first five years. In the last six years, he didn't know who we were, and we didn't know exactly who he was. Until they put him up in his suit again at the funeral home, and I hadn't seen him in a suit in forever. And that's where this song comes from. This is a collage of stuff, memories of my dad. i 
sweet little things my father would say. Well, I only built a fine coat, patterns of simple design. Thank you. 